Hi guys, Stanley from the Paddle School here. In this video today, we're going to talk about a really important smash that a lot of players don't use, and that is the topspin smash down to the fence on the diagonal. Now, we're going to look at why you would use that shot, when you would use it, and also where you should be aiming if you are going to hit this shot. So before we get started on the why and the when, let's just describe this shot a little bit more. This is a ball that comes up over the left side of your body and you're actually gonna hit a topspin smash down into the opposite fence. You can hit a smash from the kind of bandeja or vibra position if the ball is more central, but it's a little bit more risky. So the one we're talking about in this video is when you're gonna hit a topspin smash when the ball is above your head, you're gonna brush over the top of the ball to create that spin, to bring the ball down so that it bounces and hits that short fence on the diagonal side. So playing from the left side to the opposite left side. So if we look at why we would use this shot, from a tactical point of view, it's good to use this if you're at the lower level because you want to vary your smashes. You want to make it difficult for your opponent to guess what you're going to do. And if you're often hitting a flat smash or a hard attacking topspin smash, then this is a good change up to keep them on their toes. Also, the nice thing about this is if you go down towards the fence and actually hit a bit too deep and you miss the fence and it hits the glass, it's still a difficult ball for your opponents to receive because they're gonna to have to play that ball probably after both glasses and they'll be forced to the back of the court. So it's good to try and throw this in. Now at the higher level, this is often played on a ball that comes over your head to the left side and you can't get underneath it fast enough to hit an aggressive topspin smash that goes out of the court or to bring it back to your own side. So often players are falling back and they brush up the ball to try and create that angle to hit the fence. The other time that you would use this at a higher level is if you're setting up for a topspin smash and you can see your opponent come forward or it's already happened a few times in the match and you want to kind of catch them you want to try and hit this shot down to their low backhand volley towards the fence therefore making it very difficult for them to defend you usually do this when they're running forward or if your partner tells you they're running forward as a change up from that aggressive top spin smash so when you're hitting this shot, the target area, you want that target area to be a little bit closer to the fence if you can. The closer it is to the fence, the lower it will contact on the fence and therefore the more difficult it will be to defend. Yeah? If the ball bounces away from the fence like this, it has time to come up and if it hits the fence at a higher height like this, it gives your opponent more time to adjust. Yeah? So you want to try and hit a little bit closer to the fence with a little bit of topspin. Yeah? Like we've, we've talked about topspin smash before, I'll put the video up there but you want to hit top spin with a medium to fast speed yeah you don't need to hit full speed because it's more important that you're accurate but you want to hit medium fast speed so that your opponents don't have time to come forward and block it and also so the rebound can be quite fast now as we're saying this is you know the target area is down here but if you do end up hitting a little bit further back where the fence meets the glass that is also pretty good and it forces your opponents to the back of the court as well there's a few good reasons why you should try and add this into your game at the moment if it's not already part of your game. The first is variety. If you can get this shot well where you're hitting it down to the fence and you're getting accuracy and consistency, then it's another weapon in your arsenal, in your game, which is perfect. The second thing is if you practice this shot, it will make you better at hitting your tops and smash over the fence. Particularly if that's something that doesn't come easy to you at the moment, you get used to practicing with your shoulder turn and brushing up the ball to try and hit down to the fence and it's in a controlled environment where it's less likely that you'll make a mistake whereas if you're going for the Thompson smash often it can pop up easily for your opponents. This is also a really good way to practice that tops and smash. If you get the opportunity, have a basket of balls, get into a good position and just practice that brush and contacting near the top of the racket face. This is something that will help you for both of those tops and smashes. If you want some inspiration or some ideas on how you can work on this topspin smash either with yourself or with a coach, I'll put the one-to-one -one course down on this side and here it's one of the many shots that we go through with drills and explanations on where you should be aiming. We put cones down so the student knows exactly what they should be trying to do. And then on this side I'll also, up above, I'll put how you can actually improve your topspin smash out of the court.